Hello everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art and the beginning of the new year. Happy New Year, by the way. And so this year we are starting out with thumbnail sketches. We are going to teach you how to do those thumbnail sketches. One way or another, we're going to make you doing a black and white no tan of your work. And this is called thumbnail sketches. And it's not so much like what I've been doing with you last year where I would take and make the photograph gray like this, like you see on the left. And I wouldn't make it like this, like a no tan, where I'm making a black and white. And I do that all in Photoshop on the photo. Well, I want you to do this this year. I want you to do it by hand. And so I know this is a little bit different, but I want you to take and do a thumbnail. And so thumbnail sketches are very small little sketches of the black and white of your image. And so you can do that with pencil, pen, marker. I don't care what you do it with. I'm going to do it with pencils. And I have, you can do it with an ebony pencil. You know, that's an ebony pencil by Sanford. That's one of the pencils you can do it with. The, the ebony pencil is really nice because it gets really, really dark. It makes a nice point and you can get really dark with your image and you go to a really light. And so see how you can get this good. So that's a soft, it's a soft pencil that's called ebony. And this is, this is what I did this. So you're going to have these all in my um, description of the video. You'll have them down there. But this I just got from Amazon, 12 pencils that go anywhere from a H, HB, and they go to a 2H all the way to a 10B. A 10B would be really soft, and so that's what I'm gonna use for this, is I'm gonna use a really, it's a, it gets a really dark, and see how it goes from really dark, and it goes to really light. Again, I look at gradation and the softness of the lead, and so these are pretty soft when I'm doing a value study, or a, um, a thumbnail sketch. And so what is a thumbnail sketch? Well, it's a small little, detailed um, sketch of the lights and darks of your image. So this is what I had normally do. I've been talking about this, how you get the lights and darks of that certain particular image. So this one on your left here of the um, of that tower in London, I mean in Paris, not London, in Paris. And so what we're going to do is we are going to do a version of that something that looks something like this but more actually like the no tan where we're going to get our lights and darks of the whole image so that we can see what our design is going to be between the lights and darks of the image all right and so you're going to do that without having to use a computer you're just going to be out there so if you're out there um plein air painting this is what you would do a little thumbnail sketch like this so how do i break this up i just go in there and i look for the the medium and darks and I'm gonna do a really quick quick thumbnail of that of those um, values right I'm just gonna and if I'm off a little bit it doesn't matter I'm looking for the big picture of things so here if I'm off by the drawing that doesn't really matter I'm not really worried about the drawing is I'm worried about the big picture of lights and darks big picture of lights and darks there is a tree this is a tree that goes up here and there's some trees in the order or in this side and see how I'm not really worried about drawing. I'm looking for big picture of values, big value changes. And so this is all middle tones and darks over here. There is um, like a little, there's some people over here. There's a tire, you know, and I'm not, again, look at, I'm not worried about um, details. There's nothing about the details. Now the optical scatter that you're seeing because the sun is really bright and it's optical scattering right here. I don't worry about that. I'm worried more about the big picture of values, big values of light and dark. These trees along edge in front of the big archway here, we're just gonna make that all dark. And there's some trees coming down here. And I'm worried about that so much as I am worried about the values, the big values. There's a bright shininess right here. I'll make that a little bit less. But again, I'm looking more for the big picture of dark. But dark against the light. And so here is basically the big shape of light and dark separating them. Up here, it's a little bit darker. And there's no detail in this whatsoever. It's basically big areas of light and dark. I'm not putting individual people in there. There's a nice shadow that goes down here that's really kind of neat. You know, the shadow and then the, the shadows that go across this way. There's a few little shadows back here. And then the whole street itself goes from a dark to a light a little bit. And so there's pretty much my thumbnail of the sketch of the 
no tan design of this picture. There's even a little, I'm not sure what this is, a pole right here. I can put that in. It's not so much about the details. It's about the big lights and darks. This is a thumbnail sketch. Thumbnail sketch. So you understand this is a small drawing, not about drawing. It's about the values of the big picture values. This is the big values of this um, sketch. This is the design, the no tan of your image. And it's no bigger than maybe two inches by three inches. And you can go even smaller. I don't, I'm not looking for details. I'm looking for large light and dark pattern of the sketch. And you can do that. Like the values, this is not even a value sketch. The value sketches are more like what you would see here. This is more of a value sketch. This is values between the lights and darks and with some middle tones in there. And so if I were doing a value study, I could do that. But this is, again, this is thumbnail sketches. These are small, small little ways of designing your picture. So let's say I want to change this a little bit and make it horizontal, you know, and I would do that really quickly with maybe doing it this way. I can maybe bring it over this way. You know, I'm just, I'm just, this is doing really quickly a thumbnail sketch of how I feel the big lights and darks should be. So if I'm doing it horizontally, could I do it this way? You know, could I put a little bit of that into there? Can I picture it across? You know, putting trees here. And so I'm, again, looking for large areas of light and dark and making sure I can see this is just a really quick design of this picture. And does it work with that kind of lights and darks throughout the entire thumbnail? So again, a thumbnail sketch is identifying the large lights and dark value pattern in your picture. And without having to do a big, huge value study with really detailed line work in there. That's not what this is about. Thumbnail sketches are very, very quick little, they used to use um, the little slide projector um, things in there and you look at that. And I used to do that out to plain air to get the big picture of the values. We've been talking about this a lot when it comes to design and no tan and black and white. These are just little, small little thumbnail sketches to get you going to figure out if the value pattern is okay. And now the pattern, we talked a little bit about that and how it looks like yin yang, where it's kind of balanced between the lights and darks and big shapes, big shapes of light and dark, and not taking into account all the little things in this side shape. Like all these people there, there's a lot of people, and there's even a car back here. That's not what it's about. It's about identifying and creating a, a larger shape of light and dark so that you can paint it easier. And we did a couple weeks ago, we did that thing with um, the city scene where the city scene was not very well um, patterned between the lights and darks because there was too much. It was overcrowded with stuff. Well, this thumbnail takes and does that for you in a pencil form or a pen form or a marker. You just take a, a, a and some people even do it with their with paint. They take paint and they paint this really quickly in their sketchbook, a really small little thumbnail. Thumbnail meaning small. It's not a large sketch of anything. It's not big. It's small. It's not detailed. It is detailed when it comes to the detail between the light and dark, you know, the, the outer edge showing where the lights are and where the darks are. And not that much detail between the middle tones. It's not about the middle tones. It's about the big lights and darks, just like this, just like that. All right. So on Thursday, we're doing a one color study this week. We're starting out fresh in a new year, do a one color study including black and white with whatever color you pick. It could be blues, it could be a red, it could be a yellow, and you can add black and white to the, that color or just use that color if it's a really dark color by itself without black and white um, paint. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're starting with one color. I do want to see a thumbnail sketch of your, of your thing. Now, you know, when you're starting to do your own pictures, make a thumbnail of that. Of course, this I'm going to start giving you the black and white of the images so that you can see what I'm thinking I've noticed that I have not done that with this last year. I didn't give you the black and white of it. I'm going to start giving you both. I'm going to start giving you the black and white and maybe even three different things. The, the color, like, like on the side here, I'm going to give you the color. I'll give you the, um, the gray scale and I will give you the no tan. Those are three different things I'll probably start giving you to show you the values in the big thing. But I would still like you to do a little small little thumbnail 
just to get that in your head of how you can make it simple. Make a simple pattern from your lights and dark colored version of your picture. All right. We need to know how to do this. All right. We need to, we need to do thumbnails. We got to get this into your head that you're, that you're going to be we're turning your images black and white and seeing if you can get a big value sketch, a big value tone pattern in your work. All right. Until Thursday, we'll see you then. Get ready for one color. All right. Bye-bye.